welcome back once again in this part we will calculate total total income of our dashboard fragment so inside our dashboard fragment we need to calculate total sum of our income and total sum of our expense so how can we do it so for doing this first we need to clear we can simply comment out here dashboard income and expense result and in here we need to add two text view where we want to store our data so private text view is going to be total income result and private text view is going to be total expense result and now we need to connect this layout connect this text view so just comment out here total income and expense and in here we can call what was the name total income so total income result is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot income set result and total expense result and make sure that we add the same id name from dashboard fragment okay we add the same name and for total expense result is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot set expense set result and now in here we need to add add value event listener for our income database and for our expense database and then we need to set this data to our text view and then we need to set so we can comment out here we can call it calculate total income and this m income database dot add value event listener is going to be new value event listener and it will give us two method and we need to work with on data change method and in here we need to add a for each loop so for data snapshot my snapshot my snap is going to be data snapshot dot get children and now we need to create a object of our model class our class name was in data so data data is equal to my snap dot get value and now we need to add data dot class and now we need to create an integer variable and this variable will store our data so in here we need to add a integer variable so integer total sum is equal to zero so it will start from zero and then it will count one by one from our database so total sum plus is equal to this data so this data so this total sum plus this data dot no i think we are wrong uh what was the process i think we don't need to add total sum plus n so we can check it here and if you see here then we can see so we don't need this total sum so this so this way so total sum plus is equal to data dot get amount now we need to convert this to a string so a string st to total st result and a string dot value of and a string dot value of and we can call it total sum So I think we set this data perfectly. So we set this data to total income result and in here we need to set it to total income result. So 
our text is total income result so total income result dot set text is going to be this st result so now run this application so here is our application and now we can see our total summation 8450 if we have a look for our income then we can see 800 for 8450 so that's it for this part